Chapter 6. Wireless LAN Topologies. In this chapter, you will learn about the following. Wireless technologies are arranged into four major wireless topologies. First, wireless wide area network. Second, wireless metropolitan area network. Third, wireless personal area network and the last one, wireless local area network. Wireless wide area network provides RF coverage over a vast geographical area. May traverse an entire state, region or country, or even span worldwide. Typically use cellular telephone technologies or proprietary licensed wireless bridging technologies. Examples include, general packet radio service, code division multiple access, time division multiple access, long-term evolution and global system for mobile. Wireless metropolitan area network provides RF coverage to a metropolitan area such as a city and the surrounding suburbs. Wireless MAN has been created for some time by matching different wireless technologies and recent advancements have made these more practical. One wireless technology that is often associated with a wireless MAN is defined by the 802.16 standard. This standard defines broadband wireless access and is sometimes referred to as the worldwide interoperability for microwave access or WiMAX. 802.16 technologies are viewed as a direct competitor to other broadband services such as the DSL and cable. Although 802.16 wireless networking is typically thought of as a last mile data delivery solution, the technology might also be used to provide access to user over city wide area. Some wireless LAN vendors have partnered with 4G slash LTE companies and developed success with 802.11 wireless MAN deployments using as many as 100,000 access points for metro access. Wireless Personal Area Network is a wireless computer network used for communication between computer devices with close proximity of a user. Devices such as laptops, gaming devices, tablet PCs, and smartphones can communicate with each other. The most common technologies in wireless PAN are Bluetooth and infrared. 802.11 wireless PAN example would be an ad hoc connection between two or more computers. Wireless Local Area Network, Wireless LAN. The 802.11-2012 standard is defined as a wireless local area network technology. Local area networks provides networking for building or campus environment. The 802.11 wireless medium is a perfect fit for local area networking simply because of the range and speed. Wireless LAN typically use multiple access points connected by a wired network backbone. Wireless are used to provide end users with access to network resources, services and a gateway to the Internet. Eight zero two point eleven topologies. Main component is the radio card referred to as a station or STA. STA can reside in access point or client. Standard defines four service sets. First, basic service set or BSS. Second, extended service set or ESS. Third, independent basic service set or IBSS. And lastly, mesh basic service set or MBBS is defined by the eight zero two point eleven two thousand eleven amendment. Before we discuss the various 802.11 topologies, let's review a few basic networking terms that are often misunderstood. Simplex, half-duplex and full-duplex. These are three dialogue methods that are used for communication between people and also between computer equipments. Simplex communication. One device is capable of only transmitting and the other device capable of only receiving. FM radio is an example of simplex device. Half-duplex communication. 
Both devices are capable of transmitting and receiving. However, only one device can transmit at a time. Walkie-talkie is an example of half duplex device. All RF communication by nature are half duplex. A triple E802.11 wireless technology use half duplex communication. Full duplex communication. Both devices are capable of transmitting and receiving at the same time. Telephone conversation is an example of full duplex communication. Most IEEE 802.3 equipment is capable of full duplex communication. Access points is half duplex device because the RF medium use half duplex communication that allow for only one radio to transmit at any given time. There are three types of access point. First, autonomous access point acts as standalone device. Second, cooperative access point APS with switch like intelligence that work together. Next, controller based access point, also known as thin or lightweight AP that communicates with central controller where the network intelligence resides. MAC Service Data Unit, MSDU, is an upper layer information contained in the 802.11 wireless data frame. Distribution System Services, DSS, is a switch like intelligence in AP or WLA and controller that forwards the MSDU. Many APs also support the use of virtual local area networks, VLANs. Client Station Any radio that is not used in an access point typically refer to a client station. Client station radios can be used in laptops, tablets, scanners, phones, and other mobile devices. Client station must contend for the half duplex medium in the same manner. When a client station has a layer 2 connection with an access point, they are known as associated. Integration service enables delivery of MSDUs between the distribution system and an on 802.11 LAN via portal. Portal is usually either an AP or wireless LAN controller. Eventual destination of the MSDU payload is usually wired network where it removes the 802.11 header and trailer then bridges the frame to the other network such as an 802.3 network distribution system used to interconnect a set of basic service sets bss to create an extended service set ess consists of two main components which are distribution system medium and distribution system service Wireless Distribution System Distribution System Services Using a 4MAC Address Wireless Frame Format WDS can connect access point together using what is referred to as a wireless backhoe. Wireless Repeater is another example of the 802.11 WDS. Repeaters are used to extend wireless LAN self-coverage to area where it is not possible to provide the 802.3 Ethernet cable drive. Service Set Identifier, SSID, is logical name used to identify an 802.11 wireless network. Logically comparable to a Windows workgroup name. Identified using active or passive scanning. Configurable on all radio cards. Up to 32 characters long and case sensitive. Hiding the SSID is a very weak attempt at security that is not defined in the 802.11 standard. Basic Service Set, BSS, is cornerstone topology of an 802.11 network. An AP with one or more client stations. Client stations communicate through the AP. Stations connected to a BSS are called associated. Basic Service Set Identifier, BSS ID. 48 bit or 6 octet MAC address of an access points radio. Layer 2 identified of each individual BSS. Provides differentiation between two APs configured identically in an ESS. Basic service area, BSA. Physical area of coverage provided by an access point in a BSS. Roaming area of the BSS. 
size and shape of BSA varies due to environmental and physical surroundings. Client stations will change data rate based upon received signal strength indicator RSSI thresholds. Process of moving between data rates known as dynamic rate switching. Extended Service Set ESS. One or more basic service sets connected by a distribution system medium. BSS typically are deployed with partial overlap to provide seamless roaming. Most vendors recommend 15 to 25 percent overlap. Overlap and seamless roaming is not required. Mobility between disjointed cells is referred to as pneumatic roaming. Collocation, deploying an ESS with multiple access point with total or almost total overlap of coverage. Intended to increase client capacity. The APs are connected by an 802.3 distribution system. The APs share the same SSID name. Each AP has its own unique BSSID. Independent Basic Service Set, IBSS, is two or more client stations communicating without the use of an AP. Also known as ad hoc or peer to peer network. Clients are configured with the same SSID. Clients communicate using the same channel. Mesh Basic Service Set, MBSS, ratified in 802.11 as 2011 amendment. New Service Set for 802.11 Mesh Topology. A Mesh Point can also act as an AP in the BSS. One or more Mesh Point portals act as gateways to an external network, such as an 802.3 wired backbone. Access Point Modes The 802.11 standard does not define these AP operational modes. Therefore, every wireless LAN vendor will have different capabilities. There are other operational modes in which an AP may be configured. Bridge Mode AP acts as a wireless bridge. Workgroup Bridge Mode AP will act as a wireless client for multiple wired devices. Repeater Mode AP acts as a wireless repeater. Mesh Mode AP will act as a wireless backhaul radio for a mesh environment. AP may also act as an AP in the BSS. Scanner Mode where AP acts as a sensor radio, integrating it into a wireless intrusion detection system architecture. Client Station Modes a client station may operate in one or two states. The default mode for the 802.11 client radio is typically infrastructure mode. When running in infrastructure mode, clients will allow communications via an AP. And client can participate in a BSS or an ESS. Ad hoc mode. Other vendors may refer to this as peer-to-peer -peer mode. 802.11 Client Station set to ad hoc mode participating in IBSS topology and do not communicate via an access point. All transmissions and frame exchanges are peer to peer. Chapter 6 Summary Wireless Networking Topologies 802.11 Topologies 802.11 Configuration Modes End of chapter. Thank you for watching and listening.